Hello friends, this video is for the assignment cycle September 2024. This is for the semester 2 of all the streams. Decision science is the subject. Let's move with the question 1. Consider the following data on the categories of YouTube shorts and their views. The table shows the number of YouTube shorts in each category that have been classified as either high views or low views. So that's more than 1 lakh, sorry 10 lakh and... Uh, low views are less than less than uh, 10 lakhs categories are music comedy education gaming and travel so it's it's a 50 lakh 30 lakh 20 lakh 40 lakh and 10 lakh similarly uh, 1 lakh 170 and 180 and 169 what is the probability that a randomly selected youtube shot is in the music category what is the probability that a randomly selected YouTube shot has a high views? What is the probability that the randomly selected YouTube shot has low views? If the YouTube shot is known as to be in the comedy category, what is the probability that it has high views? If the YouTube shot is known as high, value, high views, what is the probability that it is in gaming category? Okay, let's see how we can write down this um, solution. We can start with the probability So basic introduction of probability you can write down and then we will move for the next section that is um, page number 120. This problem is coming very close to the uh, problem that has been mentioned in our assignment. So you can you can pick up this and then what is the probability that responds from the midwest and so i think it is coming very close to the uh, our own uh, assignment you can take up this for answering the question i have uh, uh, made one more video where i will give you a little brief about what kind of a methodology you can follow and uh, how uh, you can solve it i tried to explain it and if you if if you are um, not clear, you can just follow that video. Then question two, use four month moving average and five month moving average too. For which moving average mean square error is less. So this is your data and this is the views on the YouTube channel. Okay. So here again, the smoothing techniques, uh, 340 and uh, demonstration problem 9.1, we can follow. smoothing technique before that i think it's better you can also look for this mean square error mean square uh, mean absolute deviation this brief information will be good for you because how you have to solve your problem is based on this then smoothing technique in the smoothing technique um, this is one example what has been given and similarly you will also have to solve your problem in the same way I'll, um, show you 9.1345 yeah this is one problem which is given and then four month moving average what they have done similarly we have to do for five month moving average and then list down here uh, when we are going for the mean mean square error so mean square error um this is a four month forecast how they have taken four month is becoming your uh, forecast and then you're making an error here so mean square error is what you're going to get it out of this this is going to be your mean square error outcome how to calculate this one again you have to just uh, square this error and average it that becomes your mean square error Let's move to question three. Three, using an appropriate chart to show the contribution of each category of sales with conclusion. Rahul has this, chan this channel and offers a variety of content to users. Category music, comedy, education, gaming and travel and the average views. In the part B, suppose we have the duration of uh, 10 YouTube short videos, 120, 130, 140 
and so on calculate the mean duration of these videos okay so here we can find it uh, the quantitative data graph 2.4 page number 35 so in this you can see pie chart uh, bar graph then this is for two variables so in this i think for this case i believe we can best suitable is a bar graph but yeah it's uh, um how you are how you really want to show percentage or in that case it's fine then uh, yeah as it is shown in this example the bar graph is more suitable yeah okay then for uh, mean page number 55 for B, this is what is the mean. You can calculate it. How? I mean, this this is quite easy. So you can easily get the value. Write down because um, it's for five marks. Write down what it means in a little detailed way, and even the mean you can write down in the same way so that it is helpful for you to score high. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, all the best for the assignments.